Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome, welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. Alrighty everyone, so today we are prop swapping. I have this stack of prop money right here. Quite realistic, I might add. And it is is going to go into this 4k binder that can barely close if you guys saw in my last couple of videos i unstuffed all of the money from all of my savings challenges and i decided to put the majority of it right into my goal of saving ten thousand dollars and i've been doing that with budget with ira's save 6k poster as well as his 4k mega dice binder and so, um, yeah, we stuffed it with a whole bunch of cash and now it is time to prop swap it out and get that money safely into a bank account, into my high yield savings account specifically so that I can earn some interest on that money rather than it sitting in a binder and just taking up space in my house and not earning me any money. So that is the plan. I've got my cash tray set with all of the prop money and then we'll pull out the cash, but where am I gonna put that? It's like, maybe I need a second cash tray. Hold up. Okay, so this is probably weird, but I think I'm just gonna set it on the side and just like once I like hold it all, see it all, count it all, and the prop money's done, I can move the prop money and we can put it into this tray. So I guess that's my plan for now. So I'm just gonna get started and start prop swapping the money out. Now, another reason that I really want to prop swap is because we are trying to buy a house this year and that is what this whole, you know, saving the $10,000 is going towards is buying a house. Um, and so 120, 30, 130 in prop bills is going into this envelope and I pulled $120, $30 out. Um, so we're trying to buy a house and one thing last year we had spoken with a mortgage lender and they told us that we really want to have our money in the bank um, and not have it like all of a sudden depositing like a large chunk and not having it have been there for a while. I don't really know how to explain it. He explained it so much better than me, but it's called seasoned money. Means the money has been in the account for a while and it's seasoned. And so with our money not being in the bank, if we were to make a deposit of a large amount within 90 days of buying a home, it wouldn't look good, I guess, on their end. And so they want that money to already have been sitting in the bank for prior to 90 days of buying a home and having a seasoned bank account, I guess. So that is a big reason why I'm shifting things and I will be doing a lot more prop money and transferring money straight over into my high yield savings account. So that is my plan. This is $178. So I'm just going to grab $178. Um, so we're going to go 100. We're going to go 50. We're going to go 70. We're going to go 5. We're going to go 6, 7, 8. It's so funny. This paper is like thicker than the bills. So you think that there's two of them. Um, the weight's different and everything. So it's kind of funny. 50, 150. 150. 70, 75, 76, 77, 78. So that is correct. Let's see if I can make this all kind of sit over here nicely. Let's do this. There, that works. Now, if I just scooch this just a bit, I think I can get it all on or all in frame for you guys. So let's try that. Almost there, Kelsey. Just scooch it down a little bit. Okay, I think we've got something now. Perfect, you guys can see it all. Okay, so again, 178 in this one. So I have 150, 75, 76, 77, 78. So 178 in this one. And this was really exciting and a fun video. I got a lot of these challenges like pretty much fully funded. Um, so yeah, super happy. I'm definitely on my way to hitting the 4K in the binder. 
226 is in this one. So let's just prep our 226. So I'll go one, I'll go two, I'll go 20, I'll go five and six. So 226 there. And then this should be $226 right here. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 25, 26. So 226 is correct for this one here. And again, we have one, two, 25, 26, 226. So yeah, I'm really excited to get this money over into high yield savings. And going forward, just until we get the house, I'm hoping that we can buy a house this year. As I said, I'm feeling like it's coming up a little bit sooner than later, um, but I have no idea. The market is still really high. Rates are really high right now. So, you know, I don't think we're 90 days out, but maybe we're like six months out. Um, I guess, hopefully, um, maybe you were eight to 10 months out. I'm not sure. But um, all I know is I want to have my money in the bank so that we're in a really good position and things are just looking good for the mortgage lender. And we don't have to kind of like mess around um, when it comes time. So that's basically the plan is that up until we get a house, as far as my savings challenge goes, um, we are mostly going to be playing, I will be playing my savings challenges in prop money after making a transfer into my, yeah, high, high yield savings account. So anything I transfer over, I will then pull the prop money and be able to play my challenges with. And as I said, I think I'll just do that until we get a house. So hopefully once we are in our house, I can go back to cash because I really enjoy the cash. Um, 100, 200, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have 294 in prop and this should be 294. 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4. $294 is correct. Yeah, there's something about the tangible feeling of cash and just like that excitement when I unstuff a challenge and the challenge is in cash. It's there, I don't know how to explain it, guys. Um, I'm sure you know it too. You might <laughs> feel that as well. 250, 60, 70, 94. Yeah. And so I would like to get back to cash once we are in a home. But yeah, for now, I have to put, I've got to put our goals in front of my own, like, I don't know what the word would be, but like, I almost want to say like desires, but that's not what I mean. But like, you know, I guess my own enjoyment. Like, I enjoy working with the cash, but I'm going to enjoy getting into a house a lot more than just touching and playing with my cash. So I am setting my wants and needs aside for the better of our household. And yeah, we're really, really excited. There was actually a house that came up on the market that I was like, oh my gosh, I love this house. I wish that we were like in the position to buy right now because I probably would have jumped on it. And it's kind of a good thing that I didn't just because like we aren't really in that position and I don't want to rush it. I want to make sure that we really have all of our ducks in a row. Um, but it was just kind of crazy that it really sparked that like interest for me where I'm like, oh, maybe I want to start actually looking at the market and actually looking at houses a little bit. So I'm super excited for when that time comes where we actually get to like go and see houses and like, you know, get to walk through them. And yeah, it's just like really exciting. So 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 305, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. So this one does have 322 in it. So let's set this money to the side here. And let's put in one, two, 300, and 20, one, two. So 322 in this envelope here. And this one is fully funded as well. 
So yeah, it's all getting like a little bit real and yeah, just super exciting. So um, I can't wait. Okay, this one does not have 490. So let's see how much it actually has. First off, let's put it in order because what in the heck happened here? All right, I'm getting somewhere now. Oops, oops, dropped a 50. Don't want to just drop a 50. All right, here we go. Let's count it up and see how much this one has. 150, 70, 90, 200, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2. Okay, so 242. I'm going to count it one more time to be double sure. 150, 70, 90, 200, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2. Okay, 242 dollars is how much I need to put into this envelope. 242 dollars. 100, 200, 20, 40, 1, 2. All right, let's count it up. So you have 100, 200, 20, 40, 41, 42, 242 dollars going into the save 490. So that's pretty good. All right, let's take a look at this one. This one's kind of a biggie, and it looks like it's a thicky. Um, there's not 2,360 in this envelope yet, but there surely will be, and I cannot wait. So let's go ahead and just try to get this organized a little bit. Look at these hundreds. That's super awesome. All right, and then a bunch of fives. So let's go with this and see, see what we have in here. I've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 50, 600, 20, 40, oops, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 800, 10, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 900, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1,000. Oh my gosh, is it exactly $1,000? If that's the case, that would be awesome. And I can use this $1,000 slip. Um, which I didn't even think I was going to be able to use because I didn't think I had a thousand in any one challenge. But I am going to count this one more time to be double, double sure that I actually have a thousand. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 50, 600, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 80, 98, 10, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 900, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1,000. That's so awesome and so exciting. $1,000 out of 2,360, which means I'm only $1,360 away from having that envelope complete and fully funded, which is really exciting. Okay, so we'll set that there. And I will take my $1,000 prop bill and drop it right in. Now the $1,000 are like a little bit bigger than the other bills. And I think that's so that you don't get the thousands and the 100s confused. But yeah, the color's a little bit different too, I think. Okay, so this money goes in the save 6K, but also, this money needs to get added in. I just couldn't fit this in the envelope without like stretching the envelope. And you can see that these envelopes have kind of been like stretched to the max. So, but that's all right. So let's go ahead and try to make sure that this is in order before I count it. Let's stick the ones on the bottom, the fives, ones. All right, this looks like all ones here. And let's give this a count, okay. I've got 150, 70, 90, 2, 10, 30, 31, 2, uh, just kidding. The twos need to go somewhere else. Let's try this again. All right. I've got 150, 70, 90, 2, 10, 2, 30, 
235, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 300. So that's 300 right there. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 55. So 355 is what I believe I have. But I'm going to double check because especially when prop swapping, I want to make sure that I'm exactly right here. So 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 235, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, uh, 96, 97, 98, 99, 300. So 300 dollars is correct. I'm gonna set it over here, and I'm gonna grab 300 dollars. So we'll go one, two, three, and then this should be 55. But I'm gonna count it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three. Four, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 55 was correct, so $355 towards my 6k poster, which is awesome, so let's grab the 50, and let's grab the 5, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 55, so now let's drop that in and this binder is fully prop swapped out which is so exciting and closes actually closes this is so awesome i i really had so much fun watching this video i hope you guys loved it oh okay so let's set this aside for now and then we need to figure out this money sitch so i guess we could just grab it all up and then count it all and then I'll move the prop money and we can um put it in the cash tray I mean I don't even really need to put it in the cash tray because it's not gonna stick around it's gonna go right to the bank so oops my 20s 20s 10s 50s 100s I wish I didn't work with so many small bills because it would be a lot easier to count if it was mostly 100s and 50s but this is what it is. This is what we got going on here. Let's push it up so you can see it all in all its glory. <gasps> Look how pretty it is. And I don't say that about American money very often, but when you're holding this much cash, I mean, how do you not call it pretty? All right, so there we have it. Let's give it a count and let's see how much money I am taking to the bank. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, uh, sorry. I don't know why I was counting like that. Let me try again. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 59, 51,000. That's one K 50, 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 820, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 99, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2,000. So right there, I've got two stacks of 1,000. So then I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, because I grabbed two, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 95, 300, and then five, let me grab some more fives. Five, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 400. And then five, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70, 5, 85, 95, 500. You can tell that my thumb is getting tired when I like slow down counting because I just can't, I just can't move it as fast. So my hand is definitely getting tired. So 
2,500 and then I've got the fives and the ones, which is the worst. I don't think I'm gonna be able to count this money twice. I think I'm just gonna take it to the bank and be like, here, this is the first number I got. <laughs> it should be that. <laughs> because normally I count my money twice so that I know, like if I got one number and the bank got a different number, I'd be like, well, check it again because it should be what I got because I always count my money like more than once. All right, hopefully that was enough of a breather for my hand to be able to continue counting. 2,505, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, uh, 155, 56, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100 makes 200, so this should be 200 right here. Um, let's go ahead and just kind of push it up there. Um, so that would make 2,700. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 47. Okay, so if that's correct... <laughs> I should have 2747 dollars. Do you think that I did that right and I should trust it or do you think I should count it again? Let me put my number in so I don't forget it. 2747. All right, 2747. Oh, should I count it? All right, I think I'm gonna. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna count it up one more time, but I'm gonna take I'm going to take the prop money and put it away and then I'm going to count it like into the tray. So if you guys want to see me count this money up one more time, definitely stick around because it could be fun, but also it could be the exact same number. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm hoping it's the exact same number and that I didn't mess anything up. So let's do the 100s first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 800 plus. Let's go with the 50s. 51, 52, 53, 54, 400. All right, let's go with the 20s. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 620 dollars. Man, I flew through those. All right, I wish it was like that for the ones, but it never is. All right, let's go for the tens. All right, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 20, 30, 40. So 440, let's add that in. And then we've got the fives and there's a bunch of them. So I think I'll grab them in two stacks here. And the ones are there. All right, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 2. That should be 200. Sometimes I grab two at once and then I just kind of go with it. So that should be 200 and then 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 3, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 395. All right, let's put that in. We're at 2655 right now. All right. All right, let's start counting some ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Let's grab these. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2. So plus 92 equals, oh, it's right, 2,747, which means... I didn't even need to count myself twice, but you know what? I did, and I'm happy. I'm glad I double-checked. I am bringing $2,747 to the bank to go straight into my high-yield savings account and start earning me some interest while it sits there waiting for me to save my way to $10,000 for a down payment on our house. I'm so excited, guys. Let me know what you think about about my plan to, yeah, just to do prop money, to switch over to prop money. I really had a hard time. I went back and forth. I remember contemplating last year when I was doing the piggy bank, I was feeling like, you know, shoving it into the piggy bank was great, but I was missing out on like having it sit in that high yield and just build, grow interest, be seasoned. Um, and so, yeah, I finally felt like we're creeping up on the year that we're going to buy a house and I really need to get serious about our goals and what's important and playing with my money is not as important as making sure it's in the bank where it belongs. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, please. I would love to hear. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at this cash cause it's going to be prop for a while but it's gonna help us reach our goals. If you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so because you won't wanna miss all of my videos to come as I save my way towards $10,000. And that is it. That's all I have for you guys today. So other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.